constituency. It's been in common with many other constituencies in this part of the country, a largely two-party affair for many years. It was a Conservative seat up until 1992, and then since then, through the Labour years, it became a, a Labour seat. But then, in 2010, this very narrow Conservative majority of just 54. But all the indications are that this two-party story is coming to an end, that we're into a multi-party era, and I am joined by Bill Etheridge, UKIP MEP for the West Midlands region. He's a councillor in Dudley, and he's also going to be a candidate for UKIP in Dudley North at the general mm -hmm. election. This constituency, though, and many others, you're not going to win here, but you could damage the prospects for the Tories, who are the one party who could deliver an in-out referendum on Europe. It's all about choice. We're giving people a different, fresh option. It's going to make this ex election a lot more exciting than previous ones. And as for the Tories and their promises, we're not really interested. We'll look after our own promises and what we're going to deliver and what we offer people. We've been hearing throughout today on BBC News of a populist poll which shows that NHS issues, health issues, are by far the most pressing as far as the electorate are concerned. So the signs are that this debate is moving away from immigration, your main issue, towards health, the economy, the issues that often decide elections. Yeah, well, I'm glad it is because we've got an exciting story to tell about the NHS. Nigel announced only yesterday about the extra three million three billion pounds that we're going to be able to put into this once we stop wasting money on the EU. And our story on the NHS is about stopping the creeping privatisation that Labour started and giving people a real NHS to be proud of. You mentioned Nigel Farage. What do you make of his uh, suggestion mooted uh, a few days ago about an insurance-based system of funding for the NHS? Very controversial. One of the great things about UKIP is we're an open party. We debate things openly together. Nigel put that forward. It's been rejected. The policy is a very clear-cut one free at the point of use, state ownership, no further PFI schemes and no further backdoor privatisation. That's not what we want. Running through this constituency, North Warwickshire, is the proposed route of the high-speed rail yeah. system, and UKIP have uh, made some capital, actually, out of campaigning against it. Isn't this just another example of you sort of cherry-picking populist issues rather than having a coherent set of policies? Well, or, alternatively, you could say actually standing up for what the people want and speaking on their behalf. This is a colossal waste of money that is not required, and we should be spending this money on the deficit or even on the NHS. Let's not waste money on a vanity scheme. It's, it's madness. We have been talking about this being a very unpredictable general election coming up. Do you think that the way the polls are pointing now is a serious indication of what will be, uh, the position will be in in May, or actually do you think there's scope for a good deal of flux, a good deal of change yet? It's all to play for what we're finding. A lot of people are undecided. There's more choice than ever in this election, and there are more exciting alternative opportunities for them to vote for someone different. So I think it's up to all of us to get out on the doorsteps and persuade them that we are the ones who will properly represent them. So all to play for. Polls don't matter now. Bill Lethridge, thank you very much.